My name is Jay, and today is my birthday. Um, I turned 39, and this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. Um, today I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a veteran, I'm a police officer, but most importantly, I'm a very happy man. I have a life that's worth of substance, and it's full of love and family and friends. Um, this is Wooler Bridge. This is a place that was very important to me. It uh, has a lot of substance and meaning in my life. This is the same bridge I came out to my mother when I was 23 years old and let her know that I was a gay man. Um, this has not always been a wonderful bridge for me. Last story. ago I was 17 years old. I was a very unhappy teenager. My father was a very conservative Catholic and he was not understanding or loving at all. Um, I was raised in a very conservative Catholic home. I had a mother who had two nervous breakdowns because of the pressure my father put on her. I had two older sisters and two younger brothers. Um, I had a girlfriend who had just had a, an abortion. She had gotten pregnant my uh, senior year of high school and I, I took that really hard. I was a closeted gay young man who had lots of friends who I, I wouldn't think would understand if I ever came out to them. I was very miserable and unhappy. I came to this bridge one night when there was a huge storm going on. Wooler Bridge tends to flood, the Russian River tends to flood, and I felt like this would be the best way for me to get rid of the pain that I had inside of me. I came over to the rail here and I jumped off into the flooded river. Now this river looks kind of tranquil right now, but it gets pretty harsh and pretty pretty rough when it's storming. So I jumped off the bridge, and I thought that would be the end of it. But it wasn't. I went under the water, I looked up, I could see the sun, I could see the light, and I started to drown. I remember losing consciousness. But the funny thing is, I didn't die that day. I awoke. I woke up the next morning, on the side of the river here, muddy and wet, but still alive. You know, and from that... Oh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Don't stop. So I woke up the next day on the side of the river, and it was still raining. And I remember walking back to my car, being so angry at myself that I couldn't even do that right. That I couldn't even kill myself. You know, and, and I just wanted the pain to end. I wanted it to be an end in my life. You know, I, I knew that if I'd come out to my mother and my father and my brother and my sister and my friends and my girlfriend, that they wouldn't be looking at me the same. You know, I knew that God couldn't love me for who I was. Because if anybody felt as ugly and as unloved as I did, there wasn't a place on this planet for me. So I, I needed to make this video not only for me, but for every other young person that's out there that thinks that suicide is the right answer. It's the, it's the worst answer you could ever do. Suicide is not your answer. You know, if you can get past that pain, if you can get past those feelings and you can move forward, there's so much better in life ahead of you. So, please don't kill yourself. You know, talk to the people who love you. Talk to your family, your friends. You know, talk to your, you know, your coworkers. You know, your girlfriends, your boyfriends. You know, whoever you are, you know, make an attempt to reach out to people. Because suicide is not the answer. Um, this is a video that I, I feel like I needed to make a long time. And since today is my birthday, I thought this would be a good day to make it. Um, I want people to understand that, that there's so much more in life 
And when you're young, sometimes you don't see that. You don't, you don't sense that you have a great future ahead of you, that there is people who will love you and understand. So please don't do as I do and, and try to take your own life because, you know, you've got a great future ahead of you.